Lunaza and Lamas. There are actually a few dates that people may choose to celebrate Lunaza on. The first of all, this is the most commonly acknowledged date within a lot of the modern day pagan communities. But we also have the astrological date, which falls on the 7th of August. And that tends to be more commonly referred to as Lamas. The moon positioned in Taurus and the sun is 15 degrees to Leo, which is why it's considered the astrological date. And that tends to be the date that feels most right to me, I guess. However, I'm greedy. I celebrate the first right the way through to the 16th. And the 16th is the date that's marked in the Kalini calendar. Depending on how you pronounce it. There's an awful lot of camps on and events on this time of year locally within the pagan communities that I will be attending. I'll be starting off on the 1st this year, celebrating with family, and then finishing off on the 16th with our pagan family and other friends that have become our family because we've just built up those bonds over decades now. So, why so many dates? <laughs> well, August the 1st is actually based on the Gregorian calendar and we didn't actually have that in Iron Age Britain, which is the time when most people practice paganism in this country. And I don't ignore the date, as I mentioned, I'm going to be celebrating my family because a lot of energy has been charged into that date through collective celebration for the last 60 odd years or so. And obviously we all know that collective energies out there can make a working so much more powerful. So it's well worth tapping into those energies on the first and seeing what abundance you can bring into your own lives. Obviously, there's also the Celtic lunar calendar, which I mentioned before, the Kalini calendar which falls on the 16th, concluding that kind of season of celebration for me, shall we say. And obviously the 16th falls on the second new moon after the summer solstice. And that's one way of working out the dates each year. So what do these dates actually mark? Well, Lunaza or Lamas, depending on which one you celebrate, whether you celebrate them all or not, tends to mark the midway point between the summer solstice and the autumn equinox. So the wheel of the year is turning once again. And the earlier crops, they're ready for harvesting around this time. So it marks the first fruits of our labour, what we've sown and worked towards over the spring and summer period. All that food you've been growing, but not just food either, it spiritually represents something more. So what we've worked towards as people within and externally, the constant progress of growth and development ourselves. And the wheel of the year also represents that too. So it ties in with us as well, energetically. And that's what this now represents. It's that energy that we've been building so for so long, all those plans we've been putting into fruition. This is the time of year to start reaping those rewards. It's the time of the year where we start those initial steps to preserve and prepare for the winter period, the dark half of the year. Because obviously, if you've watched my previous videos, you know the Celt split it into two. We had the light half and we had the dark half of the year. So although we're technically still in summer, we are starting to move into the latter part of the summer season. So whilst that astrological energy is there, it is the perfect time of year to take those steps forward. Give everything that final push, everything that you're working towards. Give it that final boost of energy before you can start reaping in those rewards. And let's not forget the 7th of August, the astrological day for Lammas. That is when that solar energy is so charged. That is when it is there for you to tap into and work with to bring that fruition into your life. And obviously, pagans aren't the only ones who talk about this energy. There's also people out there talking about Lionsgate, which falls onto the same dates, the astrological dates, because that energy is there. There's also a lot of other global celebrations that take time that take place this time of year for the same reasons because of that solar energy being there. Symbols of the season are grain, so lots of baked goods, crafts as well. Crafting is really big this time of year because obviously the season Lunaza is linked to the god Lu, who was the god of blacksmithing and craftsmanship. Colours of the season are yellow, greens and oranges, getting that last boost of solar energy in there. And the way people practice is very personal to them. So let me know in the comments what you'll be doing this season to celebrate Lunasa or Lamas, whether you celebrate them at all or you don't. So many, there are so many different pagan paths out there that not all pagans celebrate the same dates or the same celebrations. And many of us don't even follow the same calendars. It's not surprising it can get confusing at times for people. So this is my rundown of the celebration Lunasa or Lamas.
Wishing you a much abundance while those energies are high.